Hi, in this video, I'll show you two ways to run ANOVA on StatCrunch. ANOVA is used to test a hypothesis comparing the means of three or more independent populations. It doesn't use the Z distribution or the T distribution, but it uses the F distribution. So let's take an example from the Sullivan textbook. The Insurance Institute for Highway Safety conducts crash tests at 40 miles per hour. And then the book goes into details on how the test is conducted. So you can go ahead and read that. All right. So head injury data measure in HIC, head injury criterion, for 21 vehicles are collected. Seven of the vehicles are family sedans, seven are passenger vans, and seven are mid-size SUV. And the question is to test the hypothesis that the mean head injury for each vehicle type is the same at the alpha equals 0.01 level of significance. In this problem, we have three different populations based on three different kinds of cores. The distinguishing factor among the three populations is the kind of cores. So we call it the factor. In the context of an experiment, we also use the term treatment to distinguish the populations. Therefore, in an ANOVA test, the two terms factor and treatment are synonymous. In stating the hypotheses, we have to define the populations because we have more than one population. The no hypothesis is always the statement that all the means are equal. So H naught says mu one equals mu two equals mu three. The alternative hypothesis is the complement of that. So it is H A is that at least one population mean is not equal to the others. The requirements for ANOVA are number one, that the samples are either K simple random samples, SRS, from each of the K populations, or it could be one big population, but it is a randomized experiment where there was random assignment to the K treatments. Number two, the K samples are independent of each other. That is, there are no match pairs in there anywhere. Number three, the populations are normally distributed. And number four, the populations have the same standard deviation. Or if you square the standard deviations, then we say that the populations have to have the same variance. Now on to stat crunch. The function is stat, ANOVA, in one way. So here's stat crunch, and let's click on stat, ANOVA, one way. That gets us to this screen. The program gives us two choices depending on how the data are given to us. The top choice is when the data are given in a separate column, one column for each separate treatment or factor. So let's take this example. We're given the head injury data in three different columns. So we click on start ANOVA one way and we select the column either by clicking each of them and holding down the control key on each or since they are all in one big continuous list, we can click the first one and hold down the shift key and click the last one. And we hit compute and we have our results. So let's zoom in so we can read it easier. F statistic, because ANOVA uses the F distribution, is 0 0.3986689, and the p-value is 0.677. Alpha was 0.01, so this p-value is a lot larger than alpha, and we failed to reject the null hypothesis. Now, going back to where we were, if we add on a dot plot, then we have the results. And so looking at this dot plot, you can see that the SUV sample, the van sample, and the sedan sample overlap by a lot. So there is a very small difference between all the samples. And each sample has a large spread. 
So each sample also has a large difference within them. So that's why we cannot conclude that they are any different. But data are not usually given in a separate column. The way data are collected and brought back to the office, the values for each variable usually come in just a single column. Our car crash data probably come like this with a separate column for the make of the vehicle, a separate column for the model, column for vehicle type, column for the head injury, and a column for origins, uh, different columns for different things. It's not going to be separated out nicely. Now, for a list like this, we could sort, use the data sort function to sort all columns by vehicle type. And then we have it sorted by vehicle type and then we copy the numbers over to different columns. But if you have to run several ANOVAs in the same day and you keep having to do that, it wastes a lot of time. Start crunch provides a way to calculate with this directly. It still starts our stat ANOVA one way. But instead of selecting column to compare, we don't have many columns to compare. All the data for head injury are in this one column. So we're going to have to click on this second button that says values in a single column. The responses are the values of the variable. So that's the head injury data. And the factors are how we separate the populations. It's we're separating by vehicle type. The factor in this question is the vehicle type. There are three levels of the factor, uh, sedan, van, and SUV. So it's responses and factors. And again, we want to take a look at the dot plot. So we're going to click on that, compute. So let's zoom in again. And you can see that F statistic is the same as before. 0.3986, etc., And the p-value is the same as before, 0.677. And again, we're not rejecting H0. We failed to reject H0. And same reason. The three samples are overlapping by a lot with very little difference between samples and a very large spread for each. So a very large difference within samples. All right, that's how you do start crunch on ANOVA. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Bye.